Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using post API method, how to insert record with a drop down list in React.js class component. Now let's check the final output. I'm selecting the color red. Now before insert this color red color in this uh, colors table let's browse the table right now at this moment this color table contains four colors now let's insert the color red here we got the message the selected color red is saved successfully click ok let's check in our table see here we got the red color let's insert the other color black insert color the color black is saved successfully click ok Let's reload the browser. See here we got the black and the color ID is 6. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my React.js tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. If you notice here in this browser contains a Django REST framework API which is a post method. With the help of this API we can insert record into this colors table. Right now this colors table contains 4 records with 2 columns. Color, color ID is a primary key and the color name which we can store the color names. Now my aim is with the help of this Django REST framework API I call this API in a React.js application to insert color names into this table colors using drop down list. So first we create one new React.js application. Just for the time saving I have created already one new React.js application. Let me expand this app. If you notice when I expand this app these React.js folders and files has been created automatically. In React.js, app.js file, which is the component, the default component of our React.js application. Now first, let's create one new component in this React.js source folder. Right click the source folder, new file, and the file name is, I'm adding postddl.js. And here we got the postddl.js JS file. Now let's create a new component in this JS file. In React.js, we can create two types of components. One is a functional component and the second one is a class component. Here I am creating the class component. But before creating a class component, we need to import the React class from the React library. Let's add that one first. Import React, React from the React library. After that, I am defining a class called postddl and this expo extends and extends this class with a component called react.component and this component I am exporting export default postddl. This function render method This under method contains a return. In this return, I'm defining, I'm adding one div, which is a root element of our component. In this root element, I'm adding one header tag using REST API post method insert record with ddl drop down list react.js tutorials after that i'm adding one horizontal line now after the horizontal line i'm adding one simple select element which is a drop down list so select and select element contains options option the first option is 
is a default label name select colors select color name color and this option i'm disabling disable selected true after that i'm adding some color names black option red and the option green and this option contains a property called value which i want to store is a black this one is a red and the last one is a green just for the demo purpose i'm adding only three three uh, color names only in the select option after that i'm adding one button element button and this button name is insert color and the button type is a submit we are submitting the data to insert record now let's save this file save all now in order to run this component on the browser we need to configure our component in index.js file that index.js file will be available in our project source folder index.js file open that one and if you notice in the index.js file the default component render method is app component and now i am deleting this default app component instead of that i am adding my component name is post ddl i am adding here and we need to import our component in this index.js file that's it let's save this file after save this file now we can able to run our component on the browser for that go to terminal first we need to add our react.js application to this path cd change directory post ddl after that to run the react.js application there is a command called npm start enter and here we got the output of our component which contains a header tags one drop down list and button control let put this in the center center save this file now we got the element is in the center now my aim is when a user select any particular color i want to save that color name in this colors table with the help of this django rest api framework now first we require to configure the course headers in the django settings at py page so for that let's open course headers and from the search results i'm selecting the first option and here we got the package django course headers and this package is a free open source package we don't require any license to use so first we need to install these course headers in our django applications then only we can share the resource to the other applications so for that let's install this django course headers in our django applications this is my django application and this application contains this api this is our post api method if you don't know or if you want to learn the python and django web tutorials uh, api rest framework you can find plenty of tutorials in my channel playlist so first we need to run that uh, package after installing this package now we need to configure the course headers in the settings of py now django applications so switch back again to the course headers page now let's add this course headers copy that one and paste here 
after that in the middle there we need to add this cos middleware then the last step we need to configure the origins we need to allow the origins which is our domain names let's delete these unnecessary urls we don't require here i'm adding my react.js domain url which is this is my react app this is the local host 3000 my domain name my url i am adding here and one important thing is we don't add this forward slash at the end otherwise we'll get an error so i'm deleting that one if you have any the path extends after the forward slash add that one save all next step we need to run this service in order to access our api in react.js application we need to run this service so i'm running django application run server now our service is also running now switch over to post react.js application in the class component first i am I'm creating a constructor in the constructor when we add a constructor we require a super method and after that this dot state is equals to i'm adding the properties if you check in our table contains two columns color, color id and color name color id is the auto generate column so i don't require to add a property for that but we require the color name so let's add in the reactors state color name now after adding the property the this dot state next here in the select element we require the on change event on change i'm declaring a variable ddl this dot state contains a color name property i'm adding color name colon ddl dot target dot value the selected value i'm adding then here i'm adding on click event when i submit this dot let's add the save method now we need to create a save method save method this save method contains a fetch the fetch fetch method first one the input request info the information we are getting from the api so we need to add this api api comma after that curly brackets the method is a post comma and i'm adding the headers In the headers the content type let's copy this one and paste here and this content type must be in the single quotes comma now here the most important step is we need to add the body json dot stringify method in the stringify method i want to save this dot state this dot state then once the record is inserted successfully i want to display the alert message 
the color the selected color the selected color we need to add the color name is uh, here not state here the set state set state method the color name is uh, this dot state dot color name is saved successfully that's it save method this is a save method we are fetching the less api django api the color name ddl here is one more curly bracket so here we got some error here this this dot set state that's it let's save this file save all now it's time to check the final output make sure the service is running in the django because i'm using the django rest api the service is running let's reload the browser again now let's reload the now let's check the final output I'm selecting the color red now before insert this color red color in this uh, colors table let's browse the table right now at this moment this color table contains four colors now let's insert the color red here we got the message the selected color red is saved successfully click OK let's check in our table see here we got the red color let's insert the other color black insert color the color black is saved successfully click ok let's reload the browser see here we got the black and the color id is 6 that's it in this video tutorial i have explained in react.js using the rest api post method to insert records using drop down list thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel